Did you ever hear of anyone fighting a battle with such strange weapons as lamps and pitchers? We certainly wouldn't go to war with them today. And even way back hundreds and hundreds of years ago, they were not considered anything to fight a war with. But the man who used them was a very unusual man. And he did it for a very good reason. The man's name was Gideon. God had chosen him to lead his people Israel into battle against the Midianites. Now Gideon had more than 30,000 soldiers ready to fight for him. But God said, Gideon, that's too many. If you win the victory with a big army, you'll feel you did it yourself. I want you to know that I, your God, am saving you. So Gideon obeyed God and sent home all the men of his army who were afraid to go into battle. And then he had 10,000 left. But God said, that's still too many, Gideon. And God gave the soldiers another test. And then there were only 300 left. That's not a big army for any battle, is it? Especially when the enemy has thousands and thousands of warriors. But God promised Gideon the victory even with such a small band of soldiers. So Gideon prepared for battle. He gave each of his men three of the strangest weapons you ever saw. A trumpet, a lamp, and a pitcher. And then he divided the army into three companies of a hundred soldiers each. He told them what to do and sent them to surround the enemy's camp on all sides. And when Gideon gave the signal, all of his men blew their trumpets, broke their pitchers with a loud bang, and held their lamps up high. And they all shouted, The sword of the Lord and of Gideon! The enemy was taken by surprise. They thought they were surrounded by a great army, and they scattered and ran for their lives. So God gave Gideon a great victory that day, and all because Gideon had obeyed him and was willing to try what seemed impossible. Now, you and I won't have to fight great armies like Gideon did, but we have a battle to fight every day that's more impossible to win. It's against Satan. And he's more powerful than any army Gideon ever faced. With us, it is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. So boys and girls, when Satan tries to get you to sin against the Lord, remember that it's not your battle, but God's. He'll give you the victory if you'll trust him for it and let him fight for you.